In this video, we will learn how to assemble our workspace for Adobe Illustrator. You, whenever you open up a new document, you will see something that looks a little like this. The um, you'll see some icons over on the left, um, and each of these icons represents uh, tools that you can use to draw items uh, on the artboard. And if you click with your left mouse button and hold, you'll see several other options pop up that are within a group of that specific tool. It, these are not all the tools for Adobe Illustrator. In fact, Adobe Illustrator has many, many features available to it, and it's a very powerful program. This bar over here on the left doesn't nearly represent everything that Adobe Illustrator can do. Um, just to get an idea of some additional tools that you can use, you click on this these three dots on the bottom and you'll see that there are many other tools that are available to you. I, I prefer having a little better access to those tools, so I prefer a two column uh, representation. So I, I would go up here to Window, go down to Control, or go down to Tools, and click Advanced. So notice that uh, a lot more icons uh, pop up. There's a, a blend tool that shows up. There's a racer. Um, many other tools are available. Um, and I just find that more accessible. The other thing that um, is very useful is to have the control toolbar up at the top. So if you go up to window and you go down to control and click that, you'll see the control toolbar pop up. This allows you to manipulate the objects that you've drawn. So for instance, if I were to draw a, a rectangle here, it gives me several options available to me. I can align to the artboard. I can align that rectangle to the center of the artboard um, horizontally, and then I can align it vertically uh, along the artboard. And I wouldn't know that that was uh, um, possible if I didn't have this um, control tool bar Present. So the control toolbar has uh, changes its appearance. Uh, so notice when I click away, a lot of the alignment tools uh, disappear. But whenever I click on the object, they then appear again. So this control toolbar changes based upon the kinds of things that you're you're intending to do, and it, and a lot of times it predicts exactly the thing that you you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this object now. Again, still, there, there's still plenty of other features that are not uh, uh, represented here, and so I like to sh I like to um, store icons on the left so that I'll have quick access to those other features of Adobe Illustrator. So if I go up here to Window <clears throat> and go down here to you know there there are many other windows available that I can I can bring over there. So first thing that I would like to, to add is color. And the window pops up here, and then you'll see the icons over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this, um, I'm going to reduce that, and then I'm going to take the, see these uh, vertical lines up here? There's little like hash marks almost. Click with your left mouse button and drag over until you see that vertical line, blue line on the left. And then that puts these on uh, the right hand side. The reason why I add these icons is one, they're very useful. For instance, the uh, um, this uh, uh, this color provides, allows me to modify the specific colors of the objects. And then there's this color guide tool that um, gives me the different shades or tints of those colors. So if I draw like a green um, object, but maybe I wanted maybe a little darker green, instead of having to uh, go up here and, and, and select colors, I can use this um, shading tool to, um, to get me a little, a little more exact, a little more quicker access to the kind of shade that I want. And this is very useful. Also, um, there's a edit colors, which is vastly useful, and you'll learn about that in, in some of my other videos. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the different tools that I like to add on to the right, give you a little bit of background, very brief background on them, and then if you want to explore those more, just you'll have to look watch the other videos. So the next thing I like to use is the um, the swatches. So I'm gonna go over to Window and then go down to Swatches. This um, this not only, so notice that, that these icons are in specific groups. So not only does this provide, whenever I click on the window, not only do I get swatches, but I also get brushes and symbols. So I mostly use this group for the brushes and symbols. I also use the swatches as well, but mainly the brushes and the groups and the, uh, the symbols. So I'm gonna drag this over. And then now I'm gonna place it just below those other icons. So I'm going to go over here to Window, and, and um, Brushes is whenever you draw a line, it applies a, an appearance to that uh, line um, that's, that's, you know, d above and beyond just green, blue, red, and actually adds some texture to it or some patterns. And Symbols, you can use a sprayer tool or you can actually make prefabricated, um, add prefabricated designs. Um, from Adobe Illustrator, which is which can be handy. So now I'm going to add some more. I'm gonna go to Window and go down to Gradient. This is the Gradient tool. It adds a um, a gradient like blue to green or white to gray across an object. Very useful. Um, you'll learn about that in other videos. And then the appearance. So I'm going to go to window and click appearance. The appearance is kind of a catch all um, tool. Whenever you add an object, I'm just going to click on it and then click on the appearance. Whenever I click on this, this gives me all the appearance attributes of that object. And, and as I add appearance properties like maybe a, um, a drop shadow or a blur or a gradient, it'll add that property to this, um, to this list. And you can um, modify those properties um, from the appearance. So it's, it's very useful. So definitely encourage including the appearance icon over here on the right, because you will be using it very frequently. The next one is a line. So this allows you to move objects around or to line objects together. Um, there's also the, it also includes the Pathfinder, which is a seldomly used, um, or I should say, um, not commonly understood um, feature of Adobe Illustrator, but is very useful and once you learn how to use the Pathfinder you'll find yourselves using it more and more um, but um, a lot of people don't are not aware of the Pathfinder because it, it's a little confusing to use at first but when you un once you understand its behavior and mechanics it can become very useful and the alignment tool everyone uh, or um, th this is the common alignment tool that you might see in PowerPoint uh, it has additional features, which I think makes it more useful. But you just align, you know, different rectangles or squares, either horizontally or vertically, or distribute them. Um, and so it's it's very useful. The next one, um, the the next one is the layers. click drag this one over the layers it, it has another kind of catch-all um, um, icon which is the properties and these are all the different properties so you have the the appearance values is it's somewhat a little more limited these are all the things that modify the appearance of this object the properties 
modifies all the properties of this object. So if you had 3D effects, sometimes it'll it'll also show up here. It also has a position and there's a little more additional features. So this this is actually I've I've been using this more and more lately because um, it, it can be very handy. And whenever you click away, you can add, edit the artboards. You can you know show the grid or show the ruler the grids. I mean it's it's a pretty useful um, uh, toolbox or tool. And then the layers, um, this is a little more of an advanced feature of Adobe Illustrator where, where you can layer your artwork. It's very useful and can save you a lot of time. So I, I recommend uh, including this in your tool belt. <laughs> The last thing is actions. Okay, actions is also another um, one that seldomly use in Adobe Illustrator, or at least not many people are aware of it, because it's kind of an advanced um, tool for Adobe Illustrator. But you can th this shows you all of the actions that you can do in Adobe Illustrator, like move things, export things. Um, scale, um, you know, expand, that sort of thing. Um, you can actually record your actions. So you know, if you look down here, you'll see a record button and a play button. Um, and you can actually add keyboard shortcuts. So for instance, if I do, if I, I say, if I scale this by 50%, I rotate it, you know, 90 degrees, and then I color it green, I can record those activities. And if I have say 50 of those rectangles, I can do that exact same thing once I click on it. And I can just click play or control Z or control J or no, no, I wouldn't, let me pick one that doesn't, isn't already used, maybe um, shift F9. <laughs> and it'll repeat that same series of actions and it can save you a lot of time. So it's one to get used to, or one to learn to save you some time. But it's, it's again a more advanced feature, but I recommend having it over there available to you. So this is um, the, uh, the view that I usually work with. Um, you, you're also welcome to click the, these arrows here and that will expand these toolboxes um, so that you can have more quicker access. That sounds fine. I, I think it's a little crowded if I do that, so I usually don't. So I just click it over. If Once you click on these, it'll expand out for you. So that is this is the, the workspace that I usually work with, and I um, highly recommend having it set up this way.